after this I looked, and behold, a great multitude which no man could number, from every nation, from all tribes, and people, and tongues, standing before the throne and before the Lamb, clothed in white robes, with palm branches in their hands, and crying out with a loud voice, Salvation belongs to our God who sits upon the throne. We want you to be quite certain, brothers, about those who have died. To make sure that you know him about them, like the other people. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. To us, pray with Mary to intercede for the soul of Sir Chief Senator Annie Clement. became a son to my mom, became a father to us, his siblings, that the age gap was not that much because he became, because he became the father. Who? Our nucleus, our son, our protector, our provider, our leader, our father. But I truly feel he has left a part of him in each person. In Uche, leadership, toughness, very good grasp of Igbo language. <laughs> in Ekene, resilience, entrepreneurship, chuka, wisdom, kindness, junior, generosity, authority, somto, vision, vivacity. And in me, I took some characteristics strength and calmness. I said if I got through this without crying, that's why I brought this here, then it's because of him. He gave me that strength. He gave us all that strength. the cell phone, he was buying the most expensive and one day he came to my house and said, Peter, this is not in your house. I said, me? No. I said, I if people sit here, I don't know, maybe I'll start feeling uncomfortable because I'll be looking at the price of that seat and they're just sitting on it. I, I don't know how you can know that people just come carelessly and sit anyhow. I probably will tell the person, no, don't cross your leg. Don't don't <laughs> and now you think it is life. Uh, Tony, when you started speaking, you brought out those memories and those moments of our early days. That I, each time I think about the fact that Agu is dead, it's so difficult to, for me to process. But Tony, when you said that um, he didn't tell you one thing, 
Now, other than telling you that God loves you, I didn't tell you the most important thing, and that is how to carry on without him. The nature of God to gift every generation with a sprinkling of extraordinary people. Senator Annie Okonkwo was a very different ways that I could give a long tribute. But I want, in these three minutes that I have, to focus on his love for Nigeria and his hope for a new Nigeria. He'd been living in the United States when the obedient movement caught fire. But the fire burned so brightly that you could see it from that far away. When he came to visit sometime last year, one of the first was called me and said, where are you? I want to come and talk about this movement. I said I was at home. He said he was coming. Then I thought, no, I'm going so He looked at the possibility of a new Nigeria was a source of inspiration for me. And then we talked about a meeting in Los Angeles. And when we arrived, did he show that he was Agone Chimba, even in the United States of America? Two things I want to say about him. And I will demonstrate it, and you will know. At the sixth sentence, Towards the end of 68, we had a very terrible problem in Nigeria that would have probably would have ended democracy, which when the Nigerian Adwa was sick, there was a problem. There was no communication. Therefore, anything could happen. Three of us, Senator Nazi, Senator Gare and I, me and said, what do we do? If we continue the conductor for 18 years, open it up to me, but don't worry for a pony, a for a macana in a corner in a baragumba, in a bag in a baragumba, in a baragumba.